back to my channel. Today I am thrilled to be sharing with you my fall capsule wardrobe. I love doing capsules because it forces me to be more creative with outfits and more intentional with my shopping. So I just love the capsule and I'm excited to share with you my fall capsule. Fall is my favorite season of the year mainly because of fashion. I love sweaters, I love the colors, the neutral colors, the reds. It's just my favorite time of year and here in New England it's actually been surprisingly warm so far. Yesterday in mid-October it was 80 degrees. So this capsule looks very different than it probably would have in years past, so keep that in mind. As well, um, I'm going to have this capsule go towards probably like end in mid-December or so. Then I'm going to be switching out just a few pieces. So the bulk of this probably will look very similar to my winter capsule and I'll be sure to make a video when that time comes when I switch out the pieces. And to give you a little glimpse into my life of what kind of outfits I look for, I work in an office full time, but that office is very business casual. Jeans, everyday kind of thing. Jeans, sweaters, even t-shirts very casual, but I definitely need a few more professional outfits for when I'm presenting to clients or things like that. And on the weekends, again, pretty casual for me, but I like to look cute still, but very comfy. And I go out, like out to the bars or stuff with friends once in a while, so I definitely wanted some options for that in my capsule. This capsule is 30 pieces, does not include shoes and accessories. I'll be making a separate video on that. Also doesn't include stuff like true outerwear like coats and puffer jackets things like that also does not include workout gear and loungewear that i just wear in the house so yeah that's pretty much all i needed to cover <laughs> before getting into the actual pieces and let's get into it as you can tell by just looking at the overview of my capsule i love neutral colors it's just what i feel most confident in so that's what i like to buy and I love my blacks and grays for fall and winter, but I also really love the color maroon and red. I'm definitely hunting for some vibrant red pieces for my winter capsule. I've also been loving these must mustard colors. So yeah, you'll see a lot of that throughout my capsule. And it's something that I've learned over time that I definitely gravitate towards. So don't be afraid to have a very neutral palette, but definitely throw in some vibrant colors there when you find pieces that you love. So let's start with tops. I have 13 tops. First, this is a cami. I've had this for forever. It's from Old Navy. It is sleeveless, as you can see, which feels weird for a fall capsule, but it's a great layering piece and it can be layered under different sweaters and blazers and things like that. Also, it's good to have if we have a 80 degree day like we did yesterday. And also I love stripes, you'll see that. I needed to have one shirt that was my go-to shirt for going out to bars or restaurants with my friends. So this is it, this is from Boohoo and it has this these embroidered patches that are very in right now. Boohoo, I have to be honest, not the best quality, obviously, because it's very, very cheap. But the only time I really do buy from out stores like this is for tops like going out, like trendier pieces that I'll probably only wear for a year and then get tired of. So I'll left, definitely link this down below. It is pretty soft, but you can tell that the patches aren't the best quality, but that's fine because if I'm gonna wear it to a bar, you know, I have to run the risk of getting beer spilt on it. I'll also have everything I can find linked down below, but a lot of these pieces I found, or I've had for a really long time, or they're thrifted, stuff like that. This shirt you will have seen in my Japan haul. It is a Nike uh, Tokyo shirt. I love this and I also included this top in my capsule wardrobe as well. For some people two gray shirts in a capsule are is overkill but for me I love gray tops so I'll get a ton of use out of this. This Brooklyn New York City t-shirt I found at a thrift store but it's from Old Navy originally but I'm sure it's long gone. I just love gray tees with jeans or khaki pants like these green ones and I just love them and they're casual and I could honestly wear these to work. That's how very casual my work is. Every capsule needs a striped t-shirt if you like stripes and this one is from ASOS. It's super soft. I've had it for quite a while. It's just a really comfy striped t-shirt that is my go-to. This top is actually just a placeholder for me to remember to talk to you about a top I picked up from Everlane. I ordered it online but it's not coming in until early November and I'll insert a picture of it here. It's just a very simple black striped long sleeve top that, again, I love stripes and it will go with all my bottoms 
and I'm very excited for it. I've been really loving Everlane recently, as you'll see with future pieces. But this top is just a placeholder and I got it from TJ Maxx forever ago, but the material of it and the sleeves that have holes on it on the side, this goes into my spring capsule. Speaking of Everlane, this top is also from Everlane. It's just a very simple black fitted t-shirt, long sleeves with a kind of higher neck. This is just very nice. It's super soft. It was affordable. I'll link it down below, of course. The only thing you have to watch out for is it's slightly see-through, just a little bit. But if you wear a nude bra, it will be fine. And also, I'll probably just be wearing black camis under this when the weather gets cooler. So those were all my t-shirty materials. Now I'm gonna get into blouses. This is a short sleeve blouse from Boohoo as well. Uh, the, again, it's a more trendy piece that I am willing to get less quality for. It actually has this really cool neck piece. So it has that trendy neck um, kind of cuff that goes across, but still has a nice V-neck. It's still very um, modest. It does not show too much cleavage. I love the flowy sleeves. And of course the color and the print just screams fall. And you do have to wear a cami underneath this for sure though. It's very see-through. If you watched my spring capsule, you have definitely seen this before. It's just a nice floral print, flowy blouse of the chiffon material. It's from Target forever ago, um, and I just get so much use out of this. I love it because it provides some lighter colors in my capsule. The cream color just brightens up my look, and it's a nice go-to for work especially. Now we're going to get into sweaters. This is a very simple black sweater. It's just kind of a three quarter length sleeve. I love the way it looks on me. It's a very classic look and it can be used for so many things. Work, on the weekends, you know, going out, etc. It's just really, really nice. I got it from Nordstrom Rack, but it's the brand Philosophy. And I really like how it has this gold zipper on the back. It's just very simple and classic and yeah, works with a lot of things. Like I said earlier, maroon is one of my favorite colors. I love this sweater from Nordstrom Rack. The brand is Harlow and Graham. It's just super cozy and comfy. I wear it with jeans. I also wear it with leggings because it's a little bit longer, so it covers my butt in the back. And yeah, just super cozy. I've had it for a really long time. One of the new additions to my capsule wardrobe is this sweater from Airy. I picked it up actually when I was in Japan, but I think they sell it in the US. I'll link it down below. I love this color. It's just a perfect mixture between brown, gold, and mustard. It's just so fall and I love it. It's slightly cropped, but that's not a problem for me because most of my pants are um, more high rise. It is so soft and cozy. It's definitely the thickest sweater I have in my capsule, which will be great for those colder days. I love turtlenecks and especially I feel like with my new pixie cut, a turtleneck will be really cool with some earrings. And this gray one, I don't know where I got this from. I've had it for a really long time, probably Nordstrom Rack or TJ Maxx. It's the brand Cable and Gage. It is just a classic gray turtleneck, but it's a little bit thinner, so it's perfect for fall. Uh, not much to say about this other than the fact that it's really nice and I really like it. <laughs> This is the most casual sweater I have. It's from Nike. I also have this in my spring wardrobe, I think. It's a thin knit sweater material, but I do like to wear this on the weekends with jeans or leggings, um, just because it's uh, really comfy, but a kind of more nicer looking sweatshirt than the ratty old hoodies that I have. Now we're getting into dresses. I love dresses, mainly because they're just so easy to throw on, especially for work when I just don't want to think about anything. I just want to throw something on and get out the door still look really put together. This dress is from Boohoo, but I picked it up on ASOS.com on a serious sale. I wanted a dress that I could wear going out because again, just super, super easy. It is this gray bodycon-ish dress. It's not super tight, but it's definitely more fitted around the butt and the legs with this faux turtleneck look, which is very in right now. And I love the sleeves. It has this lace material and a little flare at the end. I picture myself wearing this with tights and my black thigh-high boots maybe going out. It's very thin, but really, really soft. And again, this is from Boohoo, so it's not gonna last me forever, but that's okay because it's just a super trendy piece in my capsule. 
This dress is definitely the most statement-y piece I have in my capsule, as you can see. It has this great 70s vibe. It has a chiffon material, but a nice slip underneath so you can't see anything. And the sleeves are so fun. They're flary and flowy. I love the 70s vibe of, vibe of this, and I wear it to work a lot with black tights and little booties or flats. It's just an awesome throw on dress that I know I'll look good in. I could also wear this to a fall wedding, something like that. I just love the colors of it and how it's a lot more fun and wild than the rest of my capsule. I just love this. It's from Nordstrom. My mom got it for me and it's from the brand Highline. I also got it in a size eight, even though I'm normally a size six. This dress I recently picked up from Hallmark, believe it or not. Hallmark, or what is it called, the paper store, has some really cute clothes. It is this nice gray sweater dress, again, perfect for work just to throw on, and it has this cinched detail at the waist, which is super flattering. It is very appropriate in terms of the neckline, long sleeve, you don't have to wear a slip underneath this. It's long enough that I don't have to wear tights, but as the weather gets cooler, I definitely will be. It's just a very versatile piece, very cozy, especially when you're sitting at a desk all day like you do, like I do with my job. It is just so comfortable. I'm obsessed with it. The last dress I have is from Everlane. I have been loving them recently. It is this black sweatshirt dress. I've never owned anything like this, but it really caught my eye because it's really nice quality, first of all. And I love how I can truly see myself transforming this from casual to more fancy. I can wear it to work. I can wear it to pretty much everywhere, I feel like. The neckline looks like a sweatshirt. It feels like a sweatshirt, but from far away, it doesn't really look like a sweatshirt. I love how the sleeves are a little bit bigger, but it cinch cinches in at the waist, at the waist, at the wrist. And I don't know, it has pockets. I'm just really excited to style this in a lot of different ways. And again, I'll link it down below. And I'm thinking of making a video exclusively about how I would style this dress. So let me know if you're interested in that. Now on to cardigans, blazers, layering pieces on top. I have this cardigan and it's just a really nice flowy cardigan to throw on top of anything. It's from Zara. I like the cream color because it brightens up the rest of my pieces. And I bring this to work a lot because even though it might be hot outside, it's really cold in my office. So yeah, not much to say here. This is a blazer I've had for quite a long time. It's from H&M and it's just a simple maroon blazer. I can throw it over any of the t-shirts or blouses I have. And it's great for those days where I want to dress up a little bit more for work, but I could also, I could also dress it down with jeans and flats or jeans and sneakers even. And I want to challenge myself to wear more blazers because I love the way they look, but I just always forget to wear them. So that's why I put this one in my capsule. This jacket is from Lululemon and it is the comfiest thing ever. But I got it because even though it's super comfy, it still looks really nice and Lululemon clothing holds up really well. It won't pill or anything like that and it's just so comfy. It has this big, big hood. So I could bring this to the office when I'm sitting at my desk freezing my butt off. <laughs> and of course, I love the charcoal gray color. It will match everything. It is very, very warm. This I am so excited for. It is a faux fur vest. I got this at a thrift store for $10, but it's originally from Forever 21. I am just so excited to layer this on top of things. This just screams fall to me. And especially when I just want to wear like a long sleeve t-shirt and leggings, if you throw this on top of it, you instantly look more stylish. Now we're getting into bottoms. I have seven bottoms total. The first one is this black skirt. I still have the tag on it. I got it from Kohl's. It's the brand Apartment 9. It's super stretchy and very comfortable. It has an elastic band waist and just fits me really, really nicely. And this is perfect for those days where I need to dress up a little bit more for work. And I could even just wear it with a blouse, obviously, or even a sweater to make it a little bit more casual. I could wear it with black tights. And I think this just really looks nice on me and is very versatile. These pants I am so excited for. I showed them in my Japan haul. They are flowy, velvety gaucho pants. They were all the rage in Japan, all the women were wearing them. So I decided to pick them up from Uniqlo and challenge myself to how I would style this. 
I could see myself wearing these with um, either the black long sleeve top, maybe the striped top, or even just a tank top with a jacket over top. How many times can I say top? But these are just super fun and comfy and I want to challenge myself to wear them. I just am really loving these. I think they're so fun. I just realized that I forgot to show you my leather jacket. This is a faux leather jacket that I will always have in my capsule wardrobe for fall and spring and all that. It is a faux leather jacket in black from, for, not Forever 21, from TJ Maxx. I've had it for forever since through college, so you know, six years or so. And it's just great for throwing on, especially when I'm going out or on the weekends. I just always find myself reaching for this and I had it in my car, so I forgot to put it on the rack. The next pair of pants are a new pair that I got from American Eagle. I love American Eagle pants. They fit me really well. I always know my size and it's really nice. So I love their pants. These are black and I just realized I have food on them. That's classy. But <laughs> these are black stretchy pants. They're actually the same exact pants I'm wearing right now. These are in green. They're also in my capsule. I love army green pants. They're so stretchy and so comfortable. They're more low rise than I usually go for, but I really like that look because it kind of trans transforms your look when you have different rise pants. And I loved it so much that I picked it up in two colors. They, I think, are only available online. And actually, per the reviews on the website, I sized down. I'm usually a six, but I got a size four. The only thing is that the waistband is a little bit tighter. Um, it stretches out a little bit because the material is so stretchy. But if you carry your weight more in your waist, I would recommend getting your normal size. If not, definitely get a size down. They are just perfect for work. They're so comfortable, again, so when I'm sitting at my desk, I'm very comfortable. And I like that they're not super skinny. I love skinny pants, but you know, sometimes you just don't want to suck yourself into those pants. And these are perfect for those days. So yeah, I'm loving these so far. My neighbor's dog just won't stop barking, so please excuse that if you hear it. But of course I had to throw in a pair of skinny jeans because they just go with everything and you have to have it in your capsule wardrobe if you like skinny jeans. And this is just a nice traditional blue pair from American Eagle. Will go with everything. They're super stretchy and yeah, very simple and a must have. Speaking of must haves, of course, every girl has to have a pair of her favorite leggings. These are from Zella. I am so happy I picked these up. They are very similar to Lululemon pants, but Lululemon leggings just don't fit me right. I don't know what it is. It just must be my shape. I'm not sure, but these fit me so much better. They never ride down. They're high-waisted, or this pair in particular is, and they are cheaper than Lululemon, about half the price. Still a little bit more expensive, but for me, I wear leggings so much that I can justify the price. Not much to say here. They're very nice quality with really good stitching and I've been loving wearing them. My last piece is another pair of comfy black pants and these are joggers. They're from the ASOS brand themselves. I got them on ASOS.com obviously and they're just black joggers. I love these because they're like a glorified sweatpant. <laughs> if I just If I'm just going out to run errands or something like that, if I throw these on with even this t-shirt and maybe my black leather jacket, you instantly look more put together than your, you know, college university's sweatpants. I love these and they're a little bit thinner, so perfect for the fall. So that was my 30 piece capsule wardrobe. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you made it to the end, leave a comment down below telling me that you made it to the end. Thank you so much for watching and make sure you subscribe down below because I will be posting the part two of my capsule wardrobe sharing my shoes and accessories. So if you're excited to see that, definitely subscribe down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.